Driving Ivan here, I'm about to drive the brand new Lotus Myra. Will I be impressed? Let's find out. Well, taking a look at the all new Lotus Myra, you can certainly see elements of, I think, even the Maserati MC20. All of the scoops, they are there for a purpose. There's nothing aesthetic about these things. They're cooling the brakes, they're cooling the engine, and uh, this is a serious Lotus. It's more modern than the Elise. It certainly even has elements of some Ferraris. It's a great looking car. Two engine choices, turbocharged, intercooled, dual overhead cam, 16 valve, 2 liter, 360 horsepower, 316 pound-feet of torque sourced from AMG, and a supercharged and intercooled 24 valve, 3.5 liter V6, which makes 400 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque, and that is sourced from Toyota. V6 has the optional manual transmission, and there's also an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic, 0 to 60 in the low 4s, 0 to 100 in 10.2 to 10.4 seconds and a quarter mile in 12.5 to 12.8 seconds onto a top speed of 180 miles an hour. Driver's assistance technology will be optional also. Emergency braking, lane departure warning, and adaptive cruise control. All great things to have, I think, in a daily driver. Safety and luxury combined. <laughs> Just driven it and uh, wow definitely believe the hype it is made to basically give you all the luxury you need and comfort but still everything from the way you put the windows down with the buttons and uh, just everything you touch and uh, operate is extremely extremely light of course engineered to be that way but still works very well and the car feels very good it's got a great tactile feel the pedals are certainly spaced for heel and toe and uh big brakes definitely notice that nice good engine tone and uh definitely a snicky feel to the shifter not exactly mazda miata like but still very snicky uh not ferrari h gate like either but feels good in your hand that aluminum finish and the aluminum bonded chassis uh, Lotus details throughout. This is a car that people are definitely going to want and uh, I think it'll stand out much more than your uh, Cayman or Boxster <laughs> at your local Cars and Coffee. It's a Lotus, simplify and add lightness and it is absolutely great. What a joy to drive. Okay, so yes, I'm definitely impressed with the Lotus Emira. It was amazing, and it was a great opportunity to drive it today. Do smash that like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm driving Ivan.